Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. The choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment. What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pin comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So, be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up, guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie, as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like, in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. My brother said he's gonna be right back, and I really don't want to get him involved. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, here I'm over here, man. Okay. Yes, sir. I see you. Here, let's hang up. All right. I'm the camera's on for safety reasons. Okay. Yes, sir, nice to meet you, man. I'm Gordon. All right. Yes, sir. So. I, I recommend we probably just walk away to maybe that parking lot over there. Yes, sir. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I realized what I was doing was wrong. That's why I kind of yeah. connected you and blocked the account. For sure, for sure. Let's, uh... Hey, Stranger, can you run real quick and get my iPhone in the my middle, my middle console thing? What? Can you run and get my iPhone in the middle console? It's the white, the white SUV. Right in front of you. Yeah, there's like an iPhone in the middle right there. They're gonna blur my face out, right? Oh, I'm not, I'm not planning on putting you on blast oh. or anything like that. It's just, you know, I'm in the hood, bro. Yeah. You know, so. Oh yeah, no, that's also why I don't want my brother 
early because he has. Yeah. No, as soon as I saw the, as soon as, as soon as I saw the face tattoos, I was like, oh, no wonder nobody's answering the door. Yeah. And <laughs> plus, we get a lot of unsafe people around here. Yeah. Did I walk it? What? Did I walk it? Do you hear the walk? Do you hear the? Do you hear the car walk? Yeah, I think I see the light. Okay. Groups. Yeah, no, I know. But he called me up and he was like, yeah, these people are chasing me down. I almost shot one of them. <laughs> I was like, oh, let me. Yeah, I know. He huh? called me before something happened. Well, I'm glad the bulletproof vest guy was the one that chased the car down, right? Yeah, that's why my brother called me. He was like, yeah, he's wearing a vest. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Yeah, we, we look pretty gang related, right? Well, you never know out here. Yeah, I know, especially. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Here, just hang on to this one for just in case that one dies. <laughs> All right, man. So yeah, I appreciate you having this talk with us. So, h how old was uh, how old was Lisa? Uh, I think we said nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's why I'm here to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. Gosh, so a nine-year-old man, you man, you. I, yeah, I mean, did, did you think something was gonna happen from this? I mean, uh, it's pretty uh, pretty honestly, risky. I've seen like the shows and all. That sure, movie. sure. I had no intentions of meeting up whatsoever. Yeah, you said you were in Austin, right? Yeah. Okay, was that why? Because you didn't want to... Yeah. Okay. Because I knew, you know, meeting up was definitely out of the question. For sure. So... Okay, we can go by the shady tree right here. Yeah. And so... I'm not going to... We're not going to hit you here. I was yeah. just, you know, too heavy to bring the rope down anyway. <laughs> All right. So... Yeah, I just want to kind of talk to you about this yeah. stuff because, you know, obviously you're 23 years old and... You know, we don't need more youth of America going on the, you know, we want to keep you all on the right path, not on the wrong path. Okay. So, uh, you work at that Mickey D's. Yeah. How long have you been working there? Uh, I worked there since June. Uh-huh. Before that, I worked at a tow company for three and a half years. A tow company? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. And the boss wanted me to forge paperwork, and I said no. You even work at a tow company because you have a foot fetish, right? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. No. Yeah. Okay. Um... All right, so basically, you know, um, obviously you know who Lisa is. This is, you know, you're not, you don't have dementia, right? Yeah. So, um, so Lisa told you she was nine years old. Yes. Okay. So did you, did you block her because of that? Uh, part of it, yes. Okay. Like, I got thinking after a while, and I was like, man, what am I doing messaging a nine-year-old asking for pictures and all that? Okay. It's not well, right. What, what pictures did you ask for? I asked for Okay, you asked for Okay. Keep it. Hey, um, what made you want to do that or think that that was a good idea? I honestly don't know. And we're not we're not here to, mm -hmm. to judge you. We're not here to be mean to you. We're not here to do anything. We just, we just want to know the truth, mm -hmm. you know, because, listen, like, there there is an elementary school yeah. nearby. I'm sure you have nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you wouldn't want somebody doing that to your niece or to your nephew, right? No. no. So it's like, you know, if you understand what, what, what started it, maybe, you know, this doesn't happen again. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can warn other people about what to do if they feel this way. So like, yeah. you know, what what made you, what prompted it? Honestly, I was bored. Like there's no real rhyme or reason. I've never been attracted to kids before. And so mm -hmm. it's just. You were just bored? Well, yeah. I, when, I, when I get bored, I go on sometimes. I mean, yeah. I'm not here to judge you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but. What did you, like, it seems like he, there's, it requires a lot of work, though, to find a nine-year-old and ask a well, nine-year-old for and you can just go look at a grown adult. The me and messaged me first. And so there you sent the first message saying, hey. Well, I think this was you saying, hey, here. Or, yeah, okay, so I sent the first message, okay. but they followed me first. Okay, okay, makes sense. And so. So do you just kind of message anybody that follows you? No, not always. Okay. I rarely do. What prompted like, you to I, message this one? Honestly, I really don't know. Was she was she just like a cute girl kind of? Is it? She was cute, yeah, uh -huh. but it was more like just random, some yeah. Were you just kind of bored and a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And it was just random. Okay. Well, so I mean, from at first you kind of just you said you were in Austin. Was this was this kind of just something like you know you just was your plan just kind of have a chat, get off to it, and be done? Yeah. Okay, that's kind of what happened here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she told us she was nine years old. So, I think you said here one of the messages you assumed she was 13 at first. Yeah. Okay. So. Because that's what was in the bio. Okay. So, so, so the plan was to, at least just to, you know, 
I, I, don't, I don't think the age mattered, but <laughs> no, it, 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 it was just it was just kind of. Well, I'm saying under 18, it doesn't matter if okay. they're 17 or nine. But still. what was your whole point in messaging, just to kind of get off to a conversation? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Really all it was. Okay, and you're planning on doing that by by doing what? Just asking for pictures. Asking for. Yeah. What did you specifically ask for? I asked for her in her underwear and. Okay. Did you ask for any? Yeah. Okay. Did so? Did you ask for stuff besides her underwear? Uh, yes. Okay, what'd you ask for besides like their underwear? Old okay, got it. So, you were very so I'm sure you could get one. So, was this just, she was she just to you and you just wanted to get off to it? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I mean, obviously the, the conversations were, like I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, I don't think you're gonna meet up, but no. you know, I wish you were riding me, what you're doing, can you send me a picture of you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was all just kind of, you know, just a fantasy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so send me a picture of you in your panties. Okay, then you uh, sent her a link. Yeah. Okay, what's this? X, uh, X. That's the site. Okay. That's the one that I mainly use whenever I go watch. Okay. Like you said, by using sex. Okay. What, what do you kind of watch on Um, just really a bunch of random stuff. I like cowgirl position. So that's the main focus of my videos that I watch POV. Okay. Do you have like a specific type of girl that you like? No. No, you just kind of watch whatever? Yeah. Okay. So you send this link to nine-year-old Lisa. Um, you said, did you look? Did you look? Was, it, is, is that, was that something like to turn you on to see if she would watch yeah. it or not? Okay. What turns you... And, you know, I'm not judging you for asking this. I'm just... Trying to get your perspective here because I want to, you know, figure out what happened so we can get it addressed. So, w what about like sending a nine-year-old link turns you on? Honestly, it didn't. Well, I mean, I mean, the I, thing. I tried it to see if it would, and okay. it didn't. Okay. Well, I mean, it's really experimentation. Oh, you're just if I was enjoying it. Kind of, kind of curious it. about it. Okay. So, let me ask another question. What prompted? If, did anything prompt you to like think? Let me experiment to see whether or not I enjoy, you know, getting off to young kids or younger girls no. or preteens. Because that, that seems like a pretty specific thing to experiment. Mm -hmm. That just seems like a very specific thing to um it was to experiment at the moment. Well, I don't think like you yourself like you know that age. But did, did you kind of like the excitement of it or that it was taboo? No, not really. Okay. I mean, did you think it was like daring to do something like this, just to be like, you know, this is just what I'm. This is just would be cool to do this or something like that. Just no, not thinking I was cool or anything for okay. it. Okay. It's just. Do you kind of like? Do you watch a lot of in general? Not really, no. Okay. I'm not really. I haven't been <laughs> active in a while. Yeah. And it's like I don't really know what gets me on anymore. And just kind of in a limbo. Yeah. Limbo with low libido. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is safe search on? So what is safe search? I think uh, I know what it is. Safe but. search is just the basic that filters out mature content. On like every search platform has it. Google. Okay. Yahoo. So why why were why was she asked if safe search is on? Is that to, is that so you can like send her the link? No. Well. Well, come on. Well, I asked if she looked it up. She said she did, and wasn't okay. popping up. And I was like, oh, well, the safe search on. Okay. Hmm, if you know each other better, can I see you in your underwear? You should watch It's videos of people having So, I mean, this is, seems like an obvious question, but was the point of you trying to get from her to just kind of get off to it and be done? Yeah. Okay. So, what was the plan with the if you got them? I was just going to use them the once and... Okay. To them? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's, that's fair. Because it was obviously a lot worse, like, you know, going to meet these, you know. So, can I see your beautiful smile? is when you please yourself okay so looking through these kind of did you did you uh did you kind of guide her on how to touch herself yeah okay what what happened there uh she asked how what it is i explained it to her and okay she said she never did it before i said you should try it okay got it you should watch does your phone get monitored go to google and look up okay can you send me a picture of you okay Sorry to hear that. So did y'all talk on Telegram at all? You mentioned you no, have it. No, not at all. Okay. 
I mentioned I had it. I don't actually have it. Okay. Why would you mention? Why would you? Well, no, she asked if I had Facebook or Telegram, and I said, yes, I have Telegram. Oh, is it because you just didn't want to have a continued interaction? Yeah. So you just you just made something up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I mean. Real quick, like what, what, did, what did your brother do? Did your brother work at all? I'm uh, not going to call him or anything, but just... He just quit his job not too long ago, but he worked at a factory. Oh, awesome. That's good. It keeps him occupied from doing stupid shit. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. So, God, I mean, your number was just... Your number was just kind of right there. I mean, how how long have you had this number for? It's this a, number? Yeah. Like five years. Five years. Okay. I think maybe I had Telegram a while back when I had an iPhone. Okay. I how, used that for school when I was in college. You used Telegram for school? Yeah. Okay. What kind of stuff on Telegram uh, was for school? I groups, group projects. Oh, group, groups, group study? projects. I was uh, art education. Oh. I dropped out after my first semester. So you were going to be an art teacher? Uh, that was the plan, yeah. What grade? I wanted to teach university. Oh, awesome. Oh, okay. So, so how, how, how long ago was college? I'm sorry, I had uh, a brain fart. Was like four or five years ago. All right, so you're 23 now. So when did you drop out? I dropped out the very first semester. Really? What happened? Uh, I got into it with my parents, my adoptive parents, and they kicked me out. I had to find my own living arrangements and all that. Oh, I'm but sorry I, about that. Do you have a good relationship with them? or? Now I do. Oh, good. Good. Now I talk to them. I just went to go visit them back in November. Oh, nice. They live here in San Antonio? No. they Well, they did, but then they retired down to Mexico. Oh, okay. So are you Hispanic or are you black? Uh, or? I'm mixed. You're like a, you're like Blexican? Black, Mexican, Native American, oh, okay. Irish. Nice. Okay, send me a picture of you. Can I see your beautiful smile? Now a picture of you in your panties. So, did you ask for a couple times to her? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, she's just, I was touching her at work last night. She was grabbing my That okay. was her line. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Obviously, I ain't going to do that at work. <laughs> yeah, it's fantasies. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just how humans are. And you rub the top part of it. It means you were getting a whole... Yeah, I mean, this is like, you know, obviously I'm glad you're having a talk and, you know, I get you're yeah. 23, but this is yeah, it's pretty serious. So, Markel, man, um, I appreciate how open and honest you've been so far about everything. But, like I said, I wouldn't be here, and I wouldn't have tried so hard to get you to yeah. to talk to you if I didn't know there was a... You know, kind of, kind of a bigger problem. And you know, look, dude, we're strangers to you. I don't want to be a stranger, but you know, we're not like, we're not like, we're not like the bestest of friends. Obviously, we can't be in like two seconds. But, you know, I'm gonna let you know. There's, there's people that are like 50 years old online, 60 years old. They get, they get good people, good young men like you who are just trying to work, and save some money, whatever, into some really, really fucked up shit. Okay, so, you know, I know that you can't send these messages to a nine-year-old without seeing some really f***ed up shit that, you know, change your mind. Because look, there, there's the corrupter, then there's the corrupted. Mm -hmm. And I think you're the corrupted. I think, I think something happened to you, whether it was in person or online, where, you know, something, something changed you, man, okay? Because, look, I'm not expecting you to just immediately talk to us and spill the truth about what happened. But for God's sake, you're using your real name to talk to little kids online. It's not, it's not hard to see where you've been, man, okay? So I want to talk to you about, you're following all these accounts, underage girl, mm -hmm. pre-teens official, I don't know what this, you know, something yeah. something young, right? Um, delicious food, a pizza emoji, okay? Yeah. So look, man, I'm not a, look, I'm not some expert, you know, I'm not looking through your broken blinds all day seeing what you're doing, but, mm -hmm. you know, I can connect the dots and I can kind of see what you're doing, okay? Look, I know why you said Telegram for group projects because you stopped yourself and you meant Telegram groups, all right? Yeah. So, well, listen, man, I know. Like on my new phone, I don't even have Telegram. On okay, my okay. And I got this phone a few months ago. Okay. So you seem like someone who's trying to get, break the habit yeah. of this, okay? I was actually been kind of teetering between deleting my Instagram or not. Right. 
Right. So we all put social media all together. What, 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 we, what we we should do here is kind of make sure you're fully broken out of this. Mm -hmm. But you know, it takes being honest, of course, with us, but mainly with yourself, man. So look. Basically, look. If we were to play back this footage, you know how it would sound like when you said it would. Be, you 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 said Telegram Group Project. Yeah. You're thinking of something to say. All right. So, did you start any Telegram groups yourself? No. Okay. Did you get sucked into some? No, I've only ever used it to message one or two people. Okay. But and they were scams. They wanted right. my credit card information. Right. But, but I've you know. Never been a part of any. Right. Telegram right. But look, man. I don't think. I don't think you would have said group group project if it wasn't groups. I'm not saying you want to go search for groups, but I think someone added you to some shit that you didn't want to see, and it made you like this because you, you didn't wake up one day, unless you did, unless unless when you were a baby you just started to like nine year olds. I don't think that's the case. I think you saw some shit on Telegram or some other app to make you like this. I don't think you asked to see it, but I think somebody sent you a, a nasty picture of a kid, and you didn't want to be this way. It turned you this way because that's what happens to a lot of good people. So if that happened, I mean. I don't remember, honestly. Okay, well, has it been too long? Has it been too long ago? Since I use Telegram, yeah. Okay, so what happened on Telegram to make you like this? Um, someone sent me a link. Was it a mega link? No, it was the Telegram group link. And okay. It was somebody, in the, a girl that I was talking to at the time. And you th did you think it was going to be linked to your own page, but instead it was a group? Yeah. Okay. It, was, it, it wasn't a college project, was yeah. it? Okay. Was it some it was, some pretty nasty stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, look, now that I have the peace of mind that you're not going and filming pictures of little kids or any of that, now that I have the peace of mind that you kind of got sucked into a group, kind of got tricked into joining one, now I have a peace of mind that you know you're not that level. You're more of someone that got sucked in. But if this happened five years ago, this makes sense because it takes a long time to be like this. So, what did you see in the group? It was girls. Okay, and we're not talking about thirty-year-old milfs, no. are we? Okay, we're talking about little kids. Okay, all right. So, those little kids, and I know how people on Telegram are. It's not like, look, I have morals. I would never see somebody under a thirteen-year-old. I know these go as low as infants mm -hmm. so i mean look it's internet shit you're the one that got sucked into it i mean whatever so what basically how young were these kids in the group i think some of them were toddler age toddler age okay and did you click the links no i there's just pictures there and i immediately got out so you clicked the link to get into the group yeah. but okay because i thought it was yeah I yeah the girl that I was talking to was an older lady. Uh -huh. I, th I think right now you're in a position where this is either the best day, of, this is either, mm -hmm. um, the worst day of your life. This is probably the worst day of your life right now. I would not be surprised if this is not the worst day of your life right now. Mm -hmm. But you know, this could potentially be the best day of your life. Mm -hmm. But this could be some, this could be a time where you actually turn a corner because everybody has vices, everybody has things that they struggle with, everybody has something that brings them shame. I know this brings you shame. I know yeah. you're not happy to do this. Yeah. I know it's a secret. I know you can't share that's this with the neighborhood. To, yeah, yeah that's, that's why we brought you here, man. Um, and, you know, I'm sorry that this is, that you got sucked into that mm -hmm. by somebody, but I mean, you could either be destroyed by mm -hmm. something like this, or you could use something like this to stop other people from getting sucked into this. So, um, you know, if you could maybe give us a little more, like, tell us a little bit more about, like, where, like, where you're getting this and who's sending it to you and why and just, you know, to just, it's about how, it's, it's about preventing other people like you from falling down this path. So this is, you know, it's about taking a bad thing and turning it into something that may help the community. The yeah. places I go to see it is those Instagram profiles. I haven't been to any other so, so, so. like that. Okay, so I know with these, like, you're talking about the pizza profiles? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I know with the pizza profiles, you can't just send child on Instagram. Like, you can't just DM, you know, I can't just DM you child. So they have to be, the Instagram is always the gateway. It's like, yeah. you know, it's, it's like, oh. If I have Telegram or okay. Kick or. Kick, okay. So, WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Well, I do have WhatsApp okay. that's because my parents live in Mexico. Yeah, no, no, that makes sense. That makes sense yeah. But but of course, WhatsApp can always turn into, because look, obviously you didn't create WhatsApp. You didn't, you, you know, you found out about this because there's some real bad. So think of this tree right here 
as like child exploitation. You know, this is you. If I cut this off, I mean, whatever. What, what, what ends up happening, right? I want to get to this. So only you can help me get to this right here. So, so look, so this, so you said it five years ago was when you first saw child. Okay. So, you know, you didn't like, you didn't retire for five years and then just come back and, you know, you're not Brett Favre of child. You know, you saw this shit. Okay. So has it been continuous for kind of five years? Um, not with like news or anything like mm -hmm. that, but with the... Just looking at minors? Yeah. Okay. At first, I didn't follow them or actively search them. It was like, if I came across it, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. But then... When did it turn into you actively searching? Like, maybe a couple years ago. Okay. So, we're talking... So, five years was when you first saw it. So, a couple years ago is what? Like, around 2020. Okay. So, basically, two years after you saw Child... Mm -hmm. Okay. So, look, man. I know with a Child... When it rains, it pours. Mm -hmm. Especially with these like that or the, the you know the bark of the tree right and so, i know it's unhealthy and it's wrong and i've been debating deleting my instagram altogether because that's the main source where i'm getting it and okay so it's like i've been debating on to deleting instagram and all and i think i went too far this time and <laughs> it's like I realized what I was doing, and I'm like, man, this isn't right. Uh huh. So, so you say you say these pizza guys send you links? Uh, some of them do. I don't really talk to any of them. I just look at the post. And okay, but some of them do. Yeah, I'm not saying you know your first thing you do when you wake up is go you know order pizza if you know what I mean. But um, okay, some of them send you links. The links are to what? They're mega links. Mega links, for, all right. Uh, Dropbox links. Okay. Um, some are for Telegram groups. Okay. So, so mega link and Dropbox, that, that I know about. And, you know, when I, when I know there's somebody, and like, like I said, I'm not judging you, but when there's somebody texting a nine year old, they're only associated with Dropbox and mega link for one thing. Okay. So, when's the last time one of them sent you a mega link or a Dropbox? Uh, I want to say a couple months ago. A couple months ago? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what was in their child, basically? Uh, yeah. Okay. I read the file. I. Well. I'm not gonna lie. I opened it, but I really didn't. Okay. Look, look. Okay. Like, you just kind of scroll through the thumbnail pictures and I was uh -huh. like, okay, close. Was it uh videos or pictures or both? Uh, it was pictures. Pictures. Okay. Was it like, what age are we talking here? Like infants? I think it was like 11 to 13 was what the folder had said okay were they in a stacks or were they posing or was it kind of both kind of both okay so there were some pictures of like little girls having sex with guys mm -hmm. okay um what sex were they doing if you remember uh okay okay that's how, all like how old remember. is that you he said 11 13. 11 13 yeah that is yeah so where were these videos or who was sending these, these things yeah who was it if you remember was it yeah because that's a pretty like that's a pretty that's a very mm -hmm. specific um thing to send somebody mm -hmm. yeah uh it was one of the many pizza accounts that i follow i don't remember okay. which one exactly were they uh, just another another question do you know if they were in this country like if they're from this country if these acts occurred in this country uh, do you I know what language the the girl spoke if any they were it was english but broken english like it definitely wasn't their first language like you know, probably okay. on the corner selling you something with a sign and like a little bell that type of english yeah <laughs> okay so it could have been kids do you think it may have been like kids who got like by bad people and they That's were forced possible, to do that yeah. okay yeah. So what, what I'm, what I'm kind of curious about is how deep this rabbit hole goes. How many times have you been sent stuff with infants, if any? I think just that first time. So that was like infants, like babies being murdered, or like newborns? I don't know if they're newborns, but they're definitely totter. toddlers. Toddlers? Okay, okay. So, well, I appreciate how honest you've been so far, man. Okay, so, you know, I, I know you said at the beginning, like, I'm not attracted to younger, okay? I don't, unless you were born that way, you can tell me because I don't care either way. But, uh, you know, if you've been in this, if you've been dipping your toes in the water for, I mean, for five years, yeah. something made you attracted to them. So when did the attraction start for you? Um, probably a couple years ago when I 
started following all those accounts. Okay, okay. And so here's a nine-year-old. You're asking her for like just bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look, man, again, I don't blame you for not being truthful immediately and saying this is my only time I messaged a little girl, whatever. I mean, you know, everybody here, including the dead Native Americans buried under here, know that's bullshit, right? So how many, how many underage girls do you think you've messaged really? Probably a few dozen. A few dozen? Okay. Um, any from San Antonio? No. Okay. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Were they all American? No. They're rarely American. Rarely American. Yeah. How many American? Well, let's start with Americans. How many Americans do you think it was? Probably around a dozen. A dozen? Okay. So about one third. Sure. And let's. Dozen Americans. How many of them were from Texas? As far as I'm aware, none. Okay. So were the conversations similar to what, like, if I was reading, if I'm reading Lisa's conversation here, would I be reading their conversations too? Pretty much. Okay. The gist of it. Okay. How many of them, and look, I, I know the answer is not f***ing all of them. I mean, if it's all of them, it's all of them. I mean, whatever. But I also, I'm pretty damn sure it's not zero. Uh, how many of them sent you Probably about half of them. Half of them sent you Okay. Um, how many sent you um, Were these full body we're talking here? Or? Yeah. Okay. With their face in it? Uh, some of them. Were. Some of them? Okay. How old were these girls that sent you Uh, I think the youngest was 15. Okay. The youngest was 15 or the oldest was 15? 15, I think, was the youngest that sent me stuff. So. Okay. Well, okay. So, who's the, besides Lisa, who's the youngest you've talked to? I what age you think? He is the youngest, nine. Okay. But, like, I mean, besides Lisa, who else was, uh, what was the next youngest age? Or if it was nine or whatever? Um, 11. Where was, where was she from? She was from England, I think. England? Did she send you any? No. Okay, did you send her? No. Okay, have you sent any of these young girls? Yes. Okay, how many were, How many do you think? Uh, Just the ones that sent me. Okay, so you were trading with them? Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. So, um, the youngest was 11. Okay, so the youngest that sent you was 15. Where was she from? Um, I think she was from, I'm trying to remember, I don't remember. Okay. I don't really ask where they're from. Are you just kind of there to get the Yeah, I'd okay. rather not know because I have no intention of meeting them. Hey, um, when was the last, when was the last time you were in a relationship? Um, heard you're in one. Hmm? Are you in one? No. Okay. Uh, I want to say about six months ago. Six months ago? Um, how'd y'all meet? Um, we met through my sister. It was one of my sister's former cellmates. Cellmates? Cellmates? Yeah. Okay. So it was like two dating each other? No. No, I meant you and the sister. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just no. kidding. Um, then... I met her when my sister had gotten released from prison. They got released at the same time. That's okay. how we met. Do you know what? Do you know what she went in for? Drugs. She went in for drugs. Mm -hmm. How old is she? Uh, she was when we were together. She was twenty-eight, I believe. She was, oh, wow. Okay. Does she have any children? No. She didn't have any children at all. No. Did she have any like nieces or nephews that hung around the house? No. And you can be honest with us. You know, we're we're here to like no. we're here to help you and, and be supportive. Have, she doesn't have any family in San Antonio. She has no family mm -hmm. in San. Antonio. Do you have any siblings besides like, your brother? Do I and have sister. a brother, brother, and a sister? Okay. How old's the brother? Other brother? Uh, I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how old's the other brother and sister? Uh, my uh, the next one up is 24. Okay. 25. Then my sister is nine months older than him. Okay. So around 24, 25. Are you guys like all blood brothers or sisters? Yeah. Okay. We're all related by blood. Yeah. Okay. Why'd y'all break up just out of curiosity? Um, honestly, she was doing drugs again. She got back on ice and I didn't want to be around that. It was just a little too much. Yeah. People on ice tend to be a little on the crazy side. And like trying to burn down the apartment. Oh, that's not good. Like sleep. Yeah, that's I mean, not good. That's not a good thing. Yeah. Oh, they would have um, they would have burned your pizza, buddy. Yeah, yeah. that's not that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Um, 
while you were with her, do you think were you were you looking at these pictures or going in these groups more or less while you were with her? Less. You were doing it less. Mm -hmm. What about towards the end of the relationship? Pictures. Um, because I, I know how relationships end. You're not, you know, you're not, you're not getting down as much. You're not doing, you know. Were you guys like active together? Bring the car here too. Yeah. Um, you know, towards the end of the relationship, usually that, that happens a little bit less frequently. So maybe you look at more pictures, maybe you go into more group chats, maybe you start exploring more things. Like that did that happen? Um, no. I mean, it went back to the amount that it was prior. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you say you looked at it less in the relationship. I mean, that's nah, that's logical. That's yeah, yeah. So you looked at it less. I mean, how often is how often is less? Like maybe. Once or twice a week. Okay, got it. So, you know, with, with how often you're just kind of looking at it, scrolling through, you know, you don't often look at it and scroll through it um, without really watching it. So, I mean, have you watched any videos of child here? I mean, I'm sure we all know the answer here, but okay, you have. What's the longest video of child you watched? I want to say like three, four minutes. Three, four minutes, okay. What, do you remember what was happening in it and how old the girl was? Or how old did she look? She looked to be like 10, 12. Okay. Was it with an adult? Uh, it was with a boy. Like, he looked to be around the same age. Oh, okay. So, two, like, seventh yeah. graders? Okay. So, I want to ask, man, look, I know, like, when is, when is really, like, the last time you watched Child? Because, look, man. I, I, I get I get I get saying September 2022 as a knee jerk because look if I got concerned about this I wouldn't be immediately like here's everything I have because that would kind of be sociopathic you know I, I get it's human nature man so that's why we're not you know that's why we're very where I actually seen you know, okay? yeah like back in I don't think it was back in September Marco no it wasn't in September I think we're talking this year yeah it was this year okay. Well, like I said, I mainly go to those sites, but it was like December. December. I actually seen the video of child. Yeah. Okay. When's the last time you saw an image of child? An image. Because you try to get an image like yeah. today, right? So. Last time I saw an image, I'll probably say till end of January. Till the end of January. Well, okay. About a month ago, then, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember where the, was this image on Telegram or was it on a website or where was it? It was a girl sent it to me. An underage girl? Uh, she's, yeah. Okay. Underage, yeah. Did she send it on, how old was she? Sorry. She was 17. Okay. So did she send you an image of someone younger or? No, it was of her. Oh, it was of her? Okay. And she was topless. Where was she from, the 17 year old? Uh, I want to say she was from New York. Okay. Mar Markel, do you ever go to like any support groups or like share this with anybody? In have you ever like shared this with anybody in person and confided this with anybody? No, I'm too ashamed. For sure. I, no, we understand. But, you know, it couldn't hurt to ask. Well, we have a live studio audience for this. I know. <laughs> That's one of my former co-workers. Oh, okay. Well, she's probably just wondering what's going on. No. Yeah. We're like base Dr. Phil's, pretty much. We are Dr. Yes. Literally Dr. Oprah's, Phil's. We're Oprah. Well, I think if we were... Tell me that I look like her. I think if we were Oprah, we'd be sending the messages to the little... Or getting the... Probably. We'd, we'd be the ones ordering the pizza. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Definitely. Catering yeah. catering it, too. Also, we'd be ordering some hot dogs, you know? Six, yeah. $65,000 worth of... Oh, I thought that was a conspiracy theory. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, those Mag and QAnons. Oh, dude. They're such a cult, dude. I know. Okay, Markel, real quick, man. Um, I'm just making sure my brother's not blowing up my phone, seeing what's happening. For sure, for All sure. Right. So, so, look, man. For your sake, is there anything on your phone you should get rid of? Yes. Okay. How many images are we talking? Millions or no? Okay. Yes. How many images? I want to say at most 
15. Okay. And, you know, I'm sure you know you're a smart guy. You're, you're semi-college educated like I am. And you also failed art class, too. I did yeah. I did also. And so did Hitler. So you're literally Hitler. Literally. No, I'm just kidding. Literally. But, um, um, so, okay. I so Jewish friends. I don't think they would... Uh, well, like, well we're, you're, we're, you're getting interviewed we're, by two Jews right, right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, we're, 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 you know, we're both Jews named Alex. We are. Really? Yeah, yeah, literally. But we're not even related. No, we're not. Yeah. I mean, we kind of are because we're 0.1% of the population. Yeah. So we, we, we're all related. We're like, we're the most genocided group in history. So. Yeah, but we're also like the only two Jews to actually fight against child. I, I suppose, I guess, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There's a, well, there's a guy in Ulster County that's a Jewish detective. Shout out to you if you're watching. Just kidding. But, no, but um, I mean, I don't know any of my Jewish friends that look at this crap, so. Yeah. Yeah. They just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> see, I couldn't even post that on YouTube, man. See? Yeah. <laughs> see but, <laughs> but, um. Okay. So, I'm sure you know. I mean, you're, like I said, you're a smart guy. When I say, is there shit you should delete, I don't mean a topless milf. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we're talking child on your phone? Yeah. Okay, what what child is currently on your phone? Uh, the one of the girl sent me. Yeah, there's that, and we're talking. So that's uh, that's six percent of what you have on your phone. Yeah. So what's the other fourteen? It's. I think there's one of a girl in a bra. Okay, I'm talking to prepubescent kids. I'm trying to remember without opening my phone. Yeah. No, we understand. Um, um, well, do you, dear, do you have any videos that you're ashamed of that you need to get rid that you want to get rid of? Not on my phone. No. Not on your phone. Is there no, any maybe sitting on, like, your in a computer or something like that, or a laptop no. or a tablet? It's all on the cloud. Uh, okay. Oh, is okay. it? So can we access that through your phone? Not this phone, no. Oh, the iCloud? Yeah. Okay. And I don't use an iPhone anymore. anymore. Right. So how many images are we think are, do we think are sitting on the cloud? Uh, between the different mega links and all that. Yeah. Hey, if it's a lot, it's Thousands. a lot. Thousands. Wow. Thousands of images of child. I haven't wow. Looked at all of them yet. Well. And I'm not going to. Yeah. Well. Oh, so you so you had like some uh you had like bookshelves worth of child. Yeah. Okay. Native. So um so. How many, if any, and look, I know the answer is more than one, but if it's less, you can tell me. How many, if any, images of prepubescent kids are sitting on your phone right now? If I were to go to your gallery, where the f*** you save them, how many, are, how many am I going to find? If you, if you had to guess. I try to guess. Yeah. Honestly, probably under 10. Under 10? Okay. Are we talking, you mentioned no videos? Okay. You see the videos are on the cloud, right? Yeah. So, okay, yeah. On your cloud. so these images of prepubescent girls on your phone, how old do you think they are? And when's the last time you downloaded one? Last time was videos, December. You downloaded a child video in December? The one that the girl sent me. Okay, okay. How old was this girl? Uh, the one who sent it to me? Yeah. She said she was older than 18. Okay, but what did she send you? Uh, it was the two. Oh, okay. You downloaded that. Okay, but that's when you had your Android, though. Yeah. Okay, well, so is it on your phone? Is it on? Is it on that phone? Okay, is it on that phone right now? Uh, no. Okay, where is it? It's right now. It's in the cloud. But you said that was the iCloud, so. Yeah. So I what? I don't have my iPhone anymore. Right, right. right but you said you, you iPhone, you've had your Android in December, and you downloaded it on the Android, so it couldn't have gone to the iCloud. So, hey, man. It, 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 is it okay if I? Yeah, just. Because uh, I don't. Honestly, I really don't know. Just, you know, don't uh, don't tamper with anything, man. I'm not. Okay. So you have Dropbox. So. Where is it? Where are those? And you've never met anybody in person? No, never. Not even like the high school age kids? Like not even like, you know, you never saw like some hot 15 year old or some hot like, you know, jailbait girl that's junior in high school you never met up or wanted to no. meet up? Yeah, I mean, there's quite a few of those, I think. I mean, yeah. Um, like. Okay, you can just, here, man, or the, is, is that, is that right there? No, no, none of this is. Okay. Um, so where, where would I be able to find the if I were to look? I, don't think there's any save to this phone. Okay, well you said there's 15 images. 
Do you think it's how many? I mean, how many images does it say are in there right there? Oh, uh, from my Instagram, twenty-five. Okay. But I think one, two. Are they cooking the pickles? Three, Door dashing it. Seven, eight. Here. Oh, okay, so there's nine. Do you think that's right there? There's nine on here right now. And that's child. Okay. And then okay. press star. Markel, you ever you ever mess with an underage girl by accident and not known that she was underage? Mm, not that I remember. Cause that that happened to a buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he went to a club. Uh, hey, don't tell him my story. Uh, <laughs> I'm just know, kidding. No, yeah, he, he went out. Look, he went out went out clubbing on. Anyone I don't know in person. Went out went out clubbing on Sixth Street. Took some girl home with him. Finds out later she's a junior in high school. Didn't even know. You know, it turned into a huge mess. Like he almost went to jail for it, and it was it was really crazy, a really crazy story. The like, only I was person wondering... I meet up in person is my friend that I've been friends with since high school. Hmm. He's a guy we play Magic the Gathering. What the hell is that? Wait, you are you like a cross dresser? No. Okay, I saw a picture on Instagram where you had like black. Uh... Um. So I went through a goth phase in high oh, school. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. So. That's, I'm so, so you play Magic the Gathering? Mm -hmm. I've always seen goth kids like MTG. That's weird. My friend that I go meet up with, I he's the one that got me into Magic the Gathering. So you're an MTG fan? Yeah. Okay. That's I wouldn't not you wouldn't strike me as the type. MTG. MTG. Yeah, absolutely. Our friend knows MTG. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, <laughs> EDH commander. You're an EDH commander. Okay. So. What's an EDH commander? Yeah, I'm curious about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Commander is a hundred card format, Simpson, uh -huh. so you can only have one copy of each card unless it's a basic land uh -huh. in your deck. And you have a legendary creature be your commander. And all the cards can only be the color of your commander. So if your commander is red, all cards in your deck can only be red. If it's blue black, it can only be blue black. Okay, okay. So what's the what's the point of Magic the Gathering? Like uh, when you play fun. when you play MTG, do you shoot like Jewish space lasers? No. Oh, you think you would, right? Yeah, we, I, I want to shoot some lasers. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's just it's like Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just a card game that people enjoy. Okay. So speaking of card games and trading, um, you seem like a trader, um, you know, when it comes to some of this stuff. So. I gotta ask, man, because I know, like I said, five years, that's a deep, deep thing down the rabbit hole. But, you know, you strike me as someone that actually wants to change it and can change it, you know? Because, I mean, like you said, y you blocked. So, um, you're good, bud. Is that is there a brother? I think it might be. That could be your brother. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? It's possible. Has anybody, um, has anybody ever offered you money for pictures or anything like that? Uh, no. People have asked me to send them money for stuff, but I didn't. Okay. God, I guess being broke sometimes keeps you out of trouble. Yeah. I'm not broke. No, nah, but... no, I'm just joking. So we're not. I, listen, we're all broke under Joe Biden inflation. So yeah, I'd rather spend my money on Magic the Gathering cards. Right. Mm. Right. It's an expensive hobby. Right. Uh, yeah. Like I got six, seven hundred dollars worth of cards in backlog right now that I need to buy. You seem like the type of guy that'll play like Risk. Or I'm Risk. sorry. You, 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, like kind of online. No. You took you took a lot. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I want to ask, man. Um, you know, you you talk about look in all seriousness, man. Like you're you're a very you seem like a very cool guy. I mean, you shouldn't. You know, this is you're definitely somebody that needs to get shit like this. I think that might be my brother. Yeah, you should probably uh, tell him it's all good, man. Let me shoot him a text message real quick. Why does everybody in this fucking apartment like have their? Oh, that's him. No, I don't think so. Okay. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, so when it comes to uh, yeah, you can text him. Go ahead. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Here, Mark, well, you mind putting your phone away, dog? Yeah, sorry. No, yeah, it's still apartment complex. Shot me a text message. No, you're good. Mm. So, um, you know, like I said, the rabbit hole goes deep, especially when you're five years into it. Um, you know, probably talking, you've probably seen thousands, thousands of these images of child.
Is that a, right? Yeah. Okay. So, how many, you know, you're, in, you're sitting in a Telegram group or, you're, you're, you know, you're sitting in whatever. How many have you sent in Telegram groups? And like I said, I know it's not zero. So, how many, how many times do you think you've, and, I, you know, I hate to use this word distributed child. Um, if you had to guess. Maybe only once or twice. Like you sent it to other people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where, like, what app and who did you send it to? It was Telegram. Groups? Uh, no, just one on one. Who did you send them to? Uh, I don't even remember. Okay. It was, was only that one time, and were they just, were they trading? Were you trading child back and forth with each other? Yeah. Okay. But I only sent a couple images, and they sent a couple, and that was it. Okay. So basically, did the conversation with them start like, "Hey, man, you want to trade some child?" Yeah, let's go. Or how, how did how did y'all like start trading with each other? Um, like, honestly, it just we got Telegram. Yeah, here's my username. Was it a pizza page? Yeah. Okay. So There's some pizza, and you messaged them on Instagram. Uh, they usually message me. They usually message you. Okay. Yeah. So that means sometimes you sometimes message. Sometimes I, you message them and then you talk and then you have something in common and then you strike up a friendship where it's like it's like trading magic cards. No, it's not a friendship. I it's talk to them that one time and then never talk to them again. Okay. So, so this is just like to get that. a quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Jeez. Damn. That's. You really shared a lot. Yeah, no, we appreciate your honesty. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot. That's really. Um... So you, so you work as, are you like a fry cook or a cashier at McDonald's? Uh, I'm a cashier. Okay, and you're a pizza delivery man after hours. No. No. Oh, okay. You don't like you, so that's your only job. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, cool, man. Well, I mean, so. Do you have any any real life friends that are also into this shit where you guys no. trade with each other? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Um. Gosh, I'm trying to think. You know, because obviously, with, with shit like this, you know, were, were you planning on, you know, now, no, what we know now is that we have like five years worth of child, you know, if you were just getting into some shit, you know, online shit, you shouldn't, you know, whatever. But, um, were you planning on just saving those photos of Lisa? Most probably, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I mean, you know, appreciate your honesty. I mean, are you, you've always seemed like a pretty honest, upstanding guy. Okay. Oh, like I said, I've been trying to get out of the habit for a while now. And right, right. Oh, yeah, Linkin Park song, Breaking the Habit. Uh, you know that song? Uh, I can't say that I do. You don't listen to Linkin Park? Not really. Oh, LP is like a few letters off for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, man, I mean, so what, what do you think you're going to tell your brother? Like, I mean, look, I know he has face tattoos and they don't treat people yeah. nicely, but like, what, what do you think? Um, not gonna tell him the truth. I know that. Okay, I'm, I'm just curious because, like, you know, we, we hear about, you know, obviously we hear about the here and the now. But we don't know if you hear I mean, about you, after that. You, you have family that have you ever been, been in jail? No. No. Mm -hmm. You've never had gotten trouble with the law or anything. No. Not even for like smoking weed or anything like that. Like, I've, I've been to the drunk tank a couple times. I mean, there's no shame. No, have you I've actually? Never been in, yeah. I've never been in trouble with the laws before. Never. So this not is, even a speeding ticket. Nothing. Not when I was driving, no. Wow, so you've, this is the first time you've ever ran into a sticky situation. Yeah. Well. That's pretty sticky, wow. What happens at 23 rather than like 50 when you have like kids in a family, right? Yeah. But basically my point is like, hey man, you have all this right here. You were, I think before today, you were well on a path to a kid down the line. Whether, whether you want to be honest with that or not, you were. I like to think I wasn't, but you're probably right if I didn't run into this yeah i mean if you're fantasizing about them really a wake up call. yeah yeah, yeah like if you're, if you're imagine if you're fantasizing about them so much that i mean look let's just assume you live to are you vaccinated yeah okay let's just assume that you know you're at let's least assume gonna, that you do not get a climate change induced heart attack in the next three to five years right so let's just assume that so um i identify as someone who's vaccinated that's why i'm wearing this shirt. right exactly exactly so we're pretty inclusive here very inclusive. It even has the rainbow coming out of it. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, 
you know, let's just assume you're living to 83, right? You're 23. Let's assume you're like, what, a fourth done with life. You know, I think in the next 60 years, you were absolutely going to have a lot of victims on your trail, man, if, you, if you, we didn't come here today. Because, I mean, look, you may not be the most physically imposing guy, but, but that's that, dangerous. That's what, makes, that's what makes it scary, honestly, because you look like a sweet man. And you are. You look like a sweet, kind man, and I believe that you are. And, you know, that's what children gravitate towards. Like, I used to literally, I, I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher when I first moved to Austin. Okay, I worked in after school programs. Um, kids gravitate towards people like you. I see it all the time, just from having worked in the Austin Independent School District. So, you know, this intervention, like, it really is a wake up call. Like, really you know, like I said, like, this is the worst day of your life, but it could be the best day because this could stop you from doing this to somebody else mm -hmm. in the future. And that's a lot of trauma. Like, do you know any kids who've had to deal with that? Me? No. Oh, something happened to you as a kid? So I lived in foster care. Oh, yeah, that, that explains it. If you, if you want to get into what happened. Uh, rather not on camera, but long story short. Yeah, that's understandable. It happens. How, how old were you, if you if I may ask? Uh, the first time, 10. Was it a guardian? Uh, it was my roommate. Was oh. 15. Wow, okay. So so now, now I kind of see. So I don't think you getting sent child got you into this i think you getting got you into this and then you suck out child or seeked out child five years ago and then from there it went down is that is that more right i never had an interest in it until they sent that person okay then, but you think that's kind of what triggered it yeah. okay whatever happened to the to the 15 year olds i have no idea wow okay well do you, do you think do you think like like because obviously look we can get sent child and honestly be grossed out by it and not even be curious about it, right? So, do you think the fact that you got at a young age, do you think that made you be able to be turned on by that? I don't wanna say it's an excuse, but... No excuse not or not excuse, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you didn't get I don't think you'd be like this. You know, you, you wouldn't be apt to be turned on. Because look, you know, we're posing as this nine-year-old, right? I see tons of dick pics. I'm not any more gay than I was when I first started doing this, right? Like, you know, I'm still the same level of straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they say. How, how worried are you, though, about um, lapsing and doing that? And you can just tell, the, tell us the truth. This is, literally about, this is literally about making sure that nobody else has to go through what you went through. Like, how, how worried are you about slipping up and doing this to somebody else? Honestly, constantly worried. About somebody. Mm -hmm. So I usually keep people at distance. Okay. The ones that initiate it. In okay. person. Have you ever have you ever found a have you ever found a kid attractive in person and intentionally like stayed away from them so you didn't get carried away? No. No. Mm -hmm. So there was never a situation where you're like I'm going to do something stupid. Let me get out of here. No. Okay. Okay. It's all been online. All been online. Okay. Well, I mean, it's getting, cutting it very close. I mean, I think, I think you're lucky that, and I think those kids, there's kids like that, I don't live in that house with you, man. Mm -hmm. You're short up uh, all day. So, I mean. And they're lucky that, that it's, that we caught this early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we literally could have saved, you know, in, in talking to you, we're definitely saving at least one kid from having to go through what you're going mm -hmm. through. And, and I know that for a fact. We're yeah. saving at least one kid. That's my brother over there. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if, if you... Yeah. Seeing if he messaged me. If yeah. If he messaged me or called me, then... Yeah, he knows we're not here. He hasn't messaged me okay. or called me. Okay. All right. So. Can you check on uh, Bill Miller's? Oh. Not I want a drink. I'm fucking thirsty as shit. Yeah, yeah, I my mouth is dry as fuck. Yeah, Mark, you got any waters at home? Mm. No cups. Sorry, East Palestine happened. I'm like, I can't trust yeah, nothing yeah. anymore. Can't do it. Mm -mm. No, I trust the bottled water well, from Well, you know, listen, you have to understand, though, that um, the train crash happened because we got to live in 15-minute cities. Mm -hmm. You know about that, Markel? <laughs> the, red, the red pill. <laughs> the red pill is actually, actually like castration. For... You don't know about, uh, what do you know about the World Economic Forum? 
Uh, I haven't really been following it recently. Okay. Do, do you know what Little St. James is? No. Okay. Do you know what Davos is? No. Okay. Shit. Well, I mean, you're going to have a lot of time to learn about this stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's very important that you do get red-pilled because, yeah. you know, we're, <laughs> see, the world's going to leave you behind, you know? So, um, I would just say, like, I don't know. I mean, do you, so now, now help us help you. Do, do you, do you know any traders that are talking to you now that you can report to us? Will it keep me from being arrested? Well, we're not cops. I mean, we aren't cops, so it's... I mean, do we look like cops to him? <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, it's one of those things, like, we're, we're not police officers. We don't have no authority to arrest you, but you, you telling this literally, it's not about being arrested. It's about helping other kids not have to deal with what you're dealing with. Yeah, even if you were facing it's, two two hundred million yeah, years, you should help, help us. Person. Yeah, it's help another help other kids person, out. Yeah, you know? yeah, but um, it's about using your weakness or, or your vice to make the world a better place versus making the world a worse place. Yeah, because like you know, we don't we don't think that you should snitch on like robbers or you know vandals or I don't know speedsters or whatever. I don't give a fuck about that. You know that's that's bro code. But when it comes to harming kids, there there's no there's no codes. Even gang members snitch when they harm kids. You know. Yeah. So, are there any so? You know, the first thing you asked was, will it keep me from going to jail? So that tells me there's people you're talking to that you can probably tell us about. I mean, there's people that, from the past, yeah. Do you have their username? No. Okay. Could you get us their username? Um, most likely, yeah. Okay. Where would you be able to see their username? On my Instagram. Okay. Have you, uh, any of these profiles that I circled... Here, I'll give you these. Oh, delicious food. I'm sure it's a steak page. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's definitely not. Mm -hmm. Any of those you talk to? No, none of these. Okay. So there's pizza pages you follow that you don't talk to. The majority of them I don't talk Okay, to. okay. Dang. So, I assume you do watch a lot of... No. No? Okay. I maybe... Well, I don't think it's a lot, but it's not once a day. Once a day? Okay, that's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said no, and I was like, well... Well, that'd be a lot for other people. Do you, do you have steak often? Yeah, I eat it once a day. That's pretty... Yeah, uh, that's no, pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah. Like, once a day. <laughs> yeah. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy, Markel. Mm -hmm. you're, you're so nervous. It's okay. Don't worry, dude. Well, if I was honest with y'all, and I feel like y'all aren't just going to let it go. What do you mean? Like, if I say I'm never going to do it again and all that, I feel y'all have the cops on the way to arrest me. I don't, I don't know anything. Well, I don't think I don't think San Antonio PD even does does jack shit. Yeah, isn't this like isn't the DA like a George Soros DA? I mean, I, I don't know. But. Yeah, you know who George Soros is, Markel? No. Dang. So you did this without a, see. I can understand you doing this if you knew who George Soros was funding the DA here. I have no idea. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you about George Soros while we wait. So this, this could also be educational. Well, wait for what? Time. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll continue hanging out, I guess, right? Okay. Yeah. So sorry. Yeah. I'm like, pretty sure uh, you're waiting for SAPD, right? I don't know. Just I, be I, honest with I you. honestly have no idea. I have no idea. But let's talk about George Soros. We'll talk about that first. Yeah. Well, George I'm... Soros is a le Markel. George Soros mm -hmm. is a left-wing mega billionaire who made a fortune shorting Dad. currencies Here, give me the other and phone. now runs a foundation to get district attorneys mm -hmm. into office oh, to deliberately hard. not prosecute violent crime, so that your country and your region can collapse, so that he can short your currency and get richer and it would be funny if the da actually sees this video and like so we make so we, we can call him out yeah i mean but you know I mean, honestly in, i'm in austin and our district attorney is got about a, a million dollars he got an m mm -hmm. and it's not worth very much considering who the president is and you know we have inflation now your dollars aren't worth very much but you got a million dollars from this guy george i Soros. can delete all the pictures i have right now on my phone deactivate my instagram and okay keep that in front of y'all well Look, Markel. Do me a favor and put your phone in airplane mode. Why? 
Because the cops are on the way. Yeah, I figured. Okay, put them in, put it in airplane mode, if you don't mind. And look, so is that your brother? Yeah. I would. Is he gonna get violent if you tell him what's going on? Yeah. Okay, so you should probably just tell him everything's fine because if it gets violent, that's just more charges probably. Okay. We should probably just go over there. I, I can't. I can't, tell I can't, you, can't tell you what to do. I can't charge you, but I can. I, yeah, but look, man, like. Now let me go. And... Well, we're not holding you here, but I'm just saying, like, if if you if you walk away, like, the best thing you can do right now, because look, look, like I said, bro. Does he have a? I'm not gonna tell y'all that. Okay, so he does. Because y'all haven't been forthcoming with me, so. Okay. Well, the best thing you can do right now, Markel, is put your phone in airplane mode and just tell him it's all good. Because, dude, if it gets if it gets like literally f***ing violent, then that's bad. Yeah, that's well, really bad. very bad. There's no way they are gonna just not. Well, what we can what we can do is we can tell we can tell Five O that you've been honest and do want to change. Because look, I know there is programs. But I don't want to go to jail. I can't afford to go. Oh, to absolutely jail. not. But, I mean, yeah. Look, look, what I can what I can tell you, man, is there are programs. There's divergent programs, especially for, for young people. Because look, I got a cousin that went to one of those that shit, man. So this that's why this shit kind of hits home for me. If I get arrested for this, I'm I lose everything. I mm -hmm. lose my job. I lose. Yeah. That's my whole life. For right. So th that's why, like, I think. Look, I still think at this point jail is not the best option for you. I think the best option for you is a divergent program. It's like if I get arrested right now. Right, but do you know what Alcoholics Anonymous is? It's like, but if I still get arrested right now, I'd go on the registry and. Not even, dude. You know what Alcoholics Anonymous is, right? Mm -hmm. So, if they if they mandate you to be part of something like that, where you go every. Tuesday. That's what I think you need, you know? And you've never been in trouble with the law anyway, right? No. Yeah, they're not going to fuck you on the first time. Man. I don't think they will. But are they going to put me in handcuffs and take me? Uh, I don't that, know. That, that, no, that, that I truly don't do know. No, we do not know, man. I'm just going to tell him I'm talking with a friend. The last thing I need is my brother to get arrested as well. Yeah. Where's, where's uh, he going? He's gonna pull his car up. What? Okay. He's gonna pull his car up. Okay. I told him I ran into a friend from work and I'm talking to him. All right, bro. Appreciate that. I really don't want to get arrested right now. Yeah, dude, look. That's the reason why I came to talk to y'all is because mm -hmm. I didn't want the laws to get involved. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, definitely if you didn't, you know, obviously we all have common sense, right? But, like, dude, what I can do now, because, look, oh, this is not the first time interviewing someone about this stuff. Like, there's some people who I laugh at when the cops come. and Like, yeah, you deserve it, you piece of shit. But, dude, I can, uh, well, not can, I will. I can 100% vouch for you that, like, yeah, you know, you want to get changed. You want to change. I yeah, really and I truly believe that. And this could be the kick that you need to actually change mm -hmm. and be better. And we'll totally, I, we'll totally vouch. We'll go to bat for you and tell them that. Yeah, no, 100%. We'll tell them that, yeah. We don't, you know. See, the, for the fact that we didn't even bullshit you about the cops being on the way. I mean, we, we had some fun about George I mean, Soros, I but like. Pretty much figured it out. Yeah. But the, the fact. Through. But trust me, we have, we have better poker faces than that, man. Like, most people, we don't even tell them. We just like, oh, haha, -ha, you know what I mean? But I'd rather you just kind of talk to them. Yeah. Can you put your phone on, on airplane yeah, mode, though? I'm just... What did he say, if you might or mind? Uh, okay, did you talk to them other people? And I was like, I'm just going to tell them, yeah, it was, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a big, a big part of what well, I got to tell the cops anyway is because you know, we're, we aren't cops, like truly, and we're private citizens, so if I don't report this, I can get in trouble, yeah. you know? So it's like... We gotta cover ourselves. Yeah. Because we're trying, we're no, doing this to help people. We're, we're doing this to like literally help children. Yeah, that's understandable, I understand. I just don't want, you know. It's, I mean, nobody wants this. Yeah. Nobody wants this, nobody wants this to happen. Well, I can, I, like, I can tell you, like, it'll, 
if this happened a few years down the line, we wouldn't be as nice, you know what I mean? So, you look, I mean, you're you're a kid, you know what I'm saying? You technically have three years of college left, you know. You know when the cops are going to show up? Because I'd rather they show up sooner rather than later. Yeah, well, we're well, talking we're... San Antonio PD here, so, yeah, yeah, that's that's true. you know. What do you, what do you want for breakfast tomorrow? We'll, we'll get it for you. <laughs> Hey, babe. I'll probably be eating what they serve in Canada. Well, I'm no. kind of really, I uh, can't really talk right now. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Not. I will call you when I'm done. I love you, babe. Bye. Who is Jason? Oh, World Series of Jiu Jitsu. Okay. That's nobody. Okay. All right. So, my brother, he just said, okay. And I was like, all right, I'll talk to you when I get home. Bad. Okay. Yeah. Well, Told him I ran into a friend at work and from work and we're talking. Mm. He was like, "What happened to those people?" I was like, "Oh, it's okay. I took care of it." And yeah. Like, okay. You are. You're taking care of it. Yeah, your brother seems like a good dude. I mean, obviously, he like. All right. He seemed cool. He seemed yeah. like a good dude. He turned his life around. And so right. Yeah, he seems he like was he's released a couple years back from prison, and he's been doing really good. Yeah. He had the job at the factory for two years. And what do you do now? Just trying to find something else? Right now he's trying to find something else. The, one of the supervisors, he was doing his work and they were complaining that they, he was doing it too slow. Oh, that's, that's and unfortunate. And it's like they man. do that every single time that supervisor works. And so he said he finally had enough and he quit. Man, yeah, he should have gotten fired so he can get that unemployment, bro. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, I know. Oh. That sucks. Should have got that stimmy, baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. What did, uh... What did they say? How long did they say they were going to take? They were going to call. They were going to call back? Yeah. Dude, did you call them on your phone or mine? My phone. Oh, okay. Dang. Here, let me, uh, let me just call them and just see what's up. Oh. Yeah. Did you say 111? Yeah. Okay. Or no, did you say like like this address yeah. here? Okay, okay. Oh, I, I actually put this address. address. It probably I put, I put this sends address. them. Oh, okay. Because, you know, that's how hey, hello? the GPS works for some reason. It does is, that, is that a uh, brother by blood? Yeah. Oh, that's what the f here, can you uh, unlock okay. this? It's like putting on some an answer machine. Yeah, SAPD has kind of gotten worse these past few years. Oh, yeah. yeah wonder why. It's like there's someone at my job. Someone put a gun out, man. It took them an hour to get there when I worked at a tow company. Oh, God. Oh, uh, because they didn't have a driver's license or the title to a vehicle or money to get the vehicle out. And they didn't even know what their make and model of the vehicle was. Oh, God. Oh, the towing company. There's a tow. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. And so did they did you give them the vehicle or what? No, they pulled a gun out, I was like, go ahead, I'm calling the cop. And you, you have bulletproof glass and all that stuff, right? Hey, hello. I think it was. I'd be out hope so, right? That wouldn't be good. If you didn't have bulletproof glass. Uh police, um, it's a... we we, we It's a four. Is this a South Cross right here? Uh yeah, this is South Cross. Yeah, it's a for South Cross. Uh, we're just calling to see the status of the call. We called a little bit ago. Um, did you give me your name, Alfredo? Did you give me your name, Alfredo? Um, did you say? Yeah, it's like right next to it. So like, okay. What's the ETA if you know? Okay, do you know like what order like we are? Yeah, I'll record. Yeah, you wanna hold this? Fun. Two other calls ahead of us. Okay. 
Okay, appreciate it. All right, bye. All right, we're here at Circle K. We're just waiting on SAPD. What's up, guys? So he went with us to the gas station, um, and you could say we had a little bit of fun with him, but I feel more comfortable posting that on Locals. So be sure to join Locals in the pinned comment. It's only $7 a month. And you heard what this guy admitted to. We can't keep doing this without you guys. YouTube wants to put the clamps on this. So if you want to, uh, you want to help us continue to uh, travel the most and catch the sickest, be sure to join Locals in the pinned comment down below, and you get to see what happens in the gas station. I guess we can just sit on the steps there. I don't know. Shoot the shit. You guys just hang out, right? Just, yeah. You know, we gotta go back over there. Let's go back over there. Yeah. With a peach? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There they are. Hey, officer! 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 They're right here. Were you, were you the call for 3006 South Cross, ma'am? You were for 3006 South Cross? Is that, what are you asking? Sorry, we're on the call. 3006 South Cross? What about it? Oh, we're the ones that called. For the... 3006 South Cross, about the guy. What guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's us. Yeah. Y'all hang tight here. We'll let this much know. Update y'all's location. We got a shots fired call right down the street. Let's go knock that out. Real oh, quick. yeah, yeah. Everybody right now is tied up on a uh, robbery. I don't know if you heard or saw anybody down there. So we'll come right back out here. You called it in, right? Yeah, yeah. You want sure. us to go back to where we were? Where it was it's that? up to y'all. Do y'all want to stay here? <laughs> I can just update the address. Yeah. yeah. Are we? Are we after your? Are we after this call or what? Yeah. No, the, I mean, it's just right now. They're gonna dispatch everything out by priority. Y'all were talking to somebody. Is that correct? Yeah, he's he's right here. Okay. And there are pictures exchanged or what? Uh, so not on that one, but... Well, he has, like, child pornography on his phone, but he wants to get help, so I, we're just here, yeah. talk to you then over here real quickly. You want to take this off? I'll just let 211 know. Yeah. Uh, right. So he doesn't know there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, hey, man. appreciate you Yeah, Thanks appreciate so you. He's going to yeah. come talk to you guys, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think she's in the car. That's good. Well, our car's not getting fucked Yeah, with. yeah. Like, we should probably go. Well, dude, do you want to go get your car? I kind of, yeah. I mean, I want to make sure yeah, somebody, go. like... go. Where are you? Where's your car? We should get like somebody should get. Parked over there? Yeah. In the blank parking lot. Just pull yours up. Here I'm turning. I'm okay, turning this off. Okay. I'm turning it off. Okay.
they don't arrest me for that. It's like they just stop everything. Like, you motherfucker. <laughs> So he came out of his apartment and he didn't want to be near his brother because he was, you know, obviously so happening behind us. That is somebody who's been so addicted to child porn that after five years he finally got found out by none other than the predator poachers. So there's a chance you might not even be viewing this video on YouTube right now, and there's a chance you are. But YouTube is absolutely screwing with these channels. They literally, yeah, they could say liability, they could say all of this excuses. No. In the end, they want to prevent this from happening right there. About a sick person going after a nine-year-old getting what he deserves. They want that to stop. So if you want to take this out of the hands, if you want to take this happening out of the hands of Silicon Valley and put it in the hands of people actually fighting the good fight, then consider supporting us on Locals. You could have seen this video uncensored. You can see the next one uncensored. Stinghouse content, I'm more comfortable posting on Locals. In the pinned comment for only, it might be seven at this point, but for either five or seven dollars a month, you can support us on Locals in the pinned comment. Take this movement out of the hands of Silicon Valley, put it into the hands of the people. Saving children should not be reliant on Silicon Valley. This happening three hours from home should not be reliant on Silicon Valley. Consider supporting us on Locals in the pinned comment if you want to see us get the tra travel the most and catch the sickest. Hey, for me, this is an hour from my house. And not only that, there were literally two elementary schools in this community and you have a guy that's soliciting pictures of nine-year-old children and it also yeah it took the police like almost an hour to respond to a pedophile who's soliciting nudes from children like there are a lot of underlying problems that we're dealing with and this is like unfortunately scratching the surface yep and we're happy to be and we're happy to be a part of the solution but in the end he drove an hour i drove three hours everybody's coming from places and hey man all we're asking of you, we asked for your eyes for many, many years, but hey man, we're just asking for five bucks. So if you want to support us, 
locals in the pinned comment. Help us get the travel the most and catch the sickest. That's what we do and that's what we're about. There's no distance too far to get someone like him. And we're happy to do it, but we need your support. Anyway, like and subscribe, sub to Rumble, pin comment, and locals. Mark Hill? All right. Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube's censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states in two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.